Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. As expected, it's looking like the League One is going to be our league of focus this week with the player pick that was released yesterday. And it seems like today we would be getting those Week League Plus objectives for the League One specific weekend league. So we'll talk about that and how that could be affecting the market a little bit today. Also, how that player pick affected the market yesterday. And we finally got the Sissoko SBC. I say finally because I think he was deservedly winning the first time against Zaha with the vote, but we had our first what they're calling footies close call. So maybe what they're going to do is kind of slow down the footies favorites cards. And honestly, we might be done with footies favorites SBCs if they're just going to drop these footies close calls on the rest of the way out. I Again, I think Sissoko was one of the top items that lost in the vote. Um, that would be a very popular item that people wanted to see. So let me know down in the comments below what another card could be that could get a close call SBC. So somebody who was in the voting that didn't win, of course, Silas, uh, Silas, sorry, I say his name wrong, but uh, formerly known as Waman. He was definitely a card that we're going to see, I think, coming in the next couple of days. So if you have some fodder that you want to save for that, I don't know when it would come, obviously, but that would be an SBC, I think, would be definitely released as a close call. But Sissoko yesterday, a little bit of play on here from EA Sports. EA does this a lot, right? They drop the Vieira SBC, get a French, French center defensive mid. A lot of people are hyped for this card. And this costs about 1.2 to 1.3 million coins. And then they dropped this Sissoko yesterday. Basically the exact same player, just not an icon, but the same build, the same type of player in this game. And this SPC is coming in at 295,000 coins, which a lot of people liked, right? 64% upvote on the footbin machine. Also, yesterday's SPC content was that League One player pick. They upped the price though, right? EA was definitely knowing that they were going to be able to up the price of that League One player pick SPC um, because of the Neymar, because of the Mbappe. I mean, honestly, just because of that 99 Neymar, I think that SBC was inflated. Well, the 96, I guess, was packable from it as well. But that SBC was definitely a little bit more expensive than like the Bundesliga last week, which was just an 83 rated squad. This one was an 85. Uh, again, this one was probably the worst value for money if you take a look at it because Neymar, both of the versions, Verratti, Paredes was usable, but I mean, even this SBC coming in at 72K, if you didn't get much more than one of those cards, then you really didn't make money today, or you didn't come out in the positive, I guess you could say, on that SBC. But of course, everybody has fodder at the moment because they're doing 87 times 10s, which are out for another day, 14 hours, and I really hope they re-release those. I think that they will, just like they did the 85 times 10. I think that's going to get re-upped, so of course, keep a watch out for that because we have one and a half more days left of that SBC content. But again, speaking about the League One, what we saw yesterday on Monday was actually some of these League One cards reached their peak in price. I want to take a look at a couple items, which yes, could go up a little bit more today, but I honestly think that, you know, some people are going to start selling these cards too because they've got them in their weekend link squads, they've got them invested, um, and well, specifically for the investment side of things, a lot of people cashed out on these Paredes, I think, at the content drop yesterday. This is what happened, right? Paredes was 80,000 coins yesterday, not yesterday, but Sunday, Sunday night into Monday morning. We talked about it a little bit on last night's upload. Paredes was like 80K flat on Sunday at the content drop. He was 97,000 coins, basically right up to 100K. He was just under 100K at the content drop yesterday with the League One player pick being released. Some people sold some of their investments to get some coins maybe, but also people packed Paredes. That caused his price to go down a little bit, back down to close to 80, where he is now rebounding back up. The same thing happened with Verratti, right? Verratti was a card that went up a lot from Sunday night into yesterday on Monday. He was 230K on Sunday. 233,000 coins rose all the way up to 277 right before the content drop yesterday. And you know what? He might reach 270, 280,000 coins today or tomorrow with some of the most meta League One cards possibly still going up a little further today with the Weekend League Plus requirements looking like they are going to be um, League One, of course. But again, if you are invested in any of these cards, if you bought Verratti at 230, 240 and you see 270, that's pretty solid cash, right? Especially at this time when 
it's so predictable. We've known since the end of this last week that probably it was going to be the League One cards being featured in the weekend league because that's the only top five league that has not been featured yet. So that's why we've seen this stuff go up. And that's why there's a lot of people that have invested in it. Um, Marquinhos Tots was another one, like 40 thousand coins on the weekend i believe now he is up to like 60k so a nice rise there there was also panic on the rest of the market right i bought a pug butt 300 thousand coins i'm just kind of hoping that he gets rare and goes back up Havertz was down in the one 190s what is Havertz right now he's still about 200 thousand coins but you were able to make some coins yesterday with that player pick panic i bought some um alejandro gomez around 105 thousand coins i believe right now he is about 130 almost cavani i got in the 50s he is right now about 70,000 coins. This Pogba got a 300. I'm going to wait on that one a bit. Um, but there was definitely some panic you could capitalize on yesterday. But again, with most people buying into those League One cards, that's just where you see the hype right now in the market. And that's why you see a little bit of inflation, I think. So just be careful if you have any of these cards that are maybe in your weekend league side or you're planning to buy for your weekend league side. 65K for Marquinhos. That is incredible incredible investment 40,000 coins just two days ago now 65k you're making a killing if you bought that card right there so that is what we saw yesterday on the market these guys are probably going to go up a little bit more today on tuesday depending on what the content is again with the confirmed La or sorry league one week and league plus we should be seeing today i don't expect a huge surge but i do expect some of these cards to maybe trickle up in price a little bit more um as people see that confirmed and people that haven't bought yet actually go out and buy some of those cards. Now, what else happened on the market yesterday? Let's look at the fodder aspect of things. Of course, squad battle rewards supplied the market a little bit, and then people started doing 87 times 10s again, seeing that some of the lower tier fodder got cheap. And then also the 85 rated squad for that league one player picked pushed some of the fodder up on the mid to low tier end yesterday. So some of those cards are up a little bit in price. Um, and then also with the Sissoko coming out, there's a little bit of demand there. So I want to point that out, of course, you know, 85 rated squad. That's, I think the very highest one for Sissoko, everything else under that, um, for that SBC again, seven squads, whatever, 300,000 coins, whatever. Uh, we also had a new vote yesterday and I want to get your guys' opinions on this because Tiago Mendez is who a lot of people wanted to see, of course, links to Marquinhos, links to Neymar, right? The Brazilian links in the League One with Olympic Lyon links as well. The guys like Depay, his Tots card, very nice links. But I think Todibo might take this one. I really do because Todibo offers something with his card that really is hard to find inside the League One. And that is a strong link to a tall. Playing for Nice, French links, and playing for Nice, strong links to Atal. I think that's huge for that Todibo card. And people always love a French center back in FIFA anyway. So I honestly think that Todibo is going to be the one who wins on Wednesday tomorrow when we see this actual SBC come out. So definitely keep your eyes up and keep your eyes ready for that because I think he is going to win. I think that could be a really sick card. If you guys remember, Todibo was an absolute beast earlier on this year. His 75 rated gold card um, it was absolutely legendary. Now he already has a future stars item, which a lot of people are like, yo, vote for Tiago Mendes because he does not have any items in FIFA this year, except for of course his non-rare. But I voted for this Todibo just purely because of those Atal links. I know a lot of you guys have issues linking Atal and I think that Todibo would be a per perfect, perfect option uh, to link them together. So watch out for that SBC coming on later this week. And again, if you're grinding in FIFA right now, I think people are catching on a little bit to the non-rare method, uh, buying non-rares and then doing those 87 times 10s. Actually, non-rares are really cheap right now, which is, which is, I mean, awesome. Wow. These have really gotten cheap. Yesterday, non-rares were like 550, 600, 650 coins a piece. So maybe that was a little bit of hype with Sissoko um, requiring some non-rares. But man, these are cheap again, which is a huge, huge W uh, to be crafting out and finishing out if you have a lot of fodder in your club. Doing gold upgrade packs, which are honestly really OP at the moment. They're so good. Like I did uh, five of them, a set of five earlier today on stream and I packed a TOTS card, two TOTS cards in one pack was one of those gold upgrades. So um, all I'm saying is 
that's a really cheap way to spend a lot of coins right now to get upgrade packs and to craft the 87 times 10, which in my opinion is way better than the 81 plus player pick just because you're getting so many more cards. I'm seeing a lot of the I'm seeing a lot more high rated big pack pulls like Acuna's, Verratti's, Llorente's, some of those higher rated summer stars items as well, like a Lukaku, a Chiesa. Those types of cards are coming out of this 87 plus times 10 instead of the player pick. So that would be my vote if you're really grinding right now. Maybe get on some of those non rares. That could be a great position to buy some of those and craft. So I got to get Sissoko done for the Spurs squad. I got to get the Martins, Gelson Martins done, of course, because uh, he's only got two days remaining. And then uh, I might might just have to participate with little League One links. Uh, I've got a Ben Yedder in my club. Uh, we shall see, especially if a Renato Sanchez is still coming. This week could be a huge, huge week on FIFA. So that's kind of the news for today, though. I would expect to see the League One Week and League Plus out today in the game other than that tuesdays are kind of just hit and miss right we'll see what tuesday content is i don't really expect a new objective uh because the tonali is still out for one more day that'll be like a wednesday time frame on a reset there maybe some sort of upgrade pack like the 86 plus sbc or something along those lines could be dropping today on this tuesday as well but if it doesn't we'll still be grinding upgrade packs and the 87 times 10. That's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.